Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to CHU News. I'm Matt Velez, and we have a brand new face here in the studio, Tiayo Adelican. T, we're really happy and excited to have you with us today. Thank you, Matt. It's great to be here. Before we get started with the news for the week, T, just tell us a little bit about yourself to kind of break the ice here. No problem. I'm Tiayo Adelican. I'm a freshman. I'm a part of the women's basketball team, and I major in exercise science. Very nice. Thank you for that. Here are all the events for the week, and it is a short week at that. So, T, why don't you get us started today? Thank you. Monday throughout the whole semester when CHG is open, beginning September 9th, community mass from 2 to 2.30 p.m. in Carolino Chapel. New for the fall 2024 semester to accommodate more members of our community, we're trying something different this semester. We hope you'll join us on Mondays at the start of Common Time and Prayer and Community. Want to get involved? We need lectors, singers, and musicians. Contact Father Bob for more information. We have mass weekly from now till December 16th. Another weekly event is a School of Graduate Studies virtual admissions session. Join CHC School of Graduate Studies for a virtual information session on Zoom and connect directly with the team, with the admissions team. Learn about the admissions process and all of our exciting master's programs, including our hybrid and online offerings designed to meet the needs of any learner and our brand new asynchronous MBA, which allows you to earn your degree in just one year. At this session, you'll have a chance to speak with our admissions team, discuss the next steps for applying for either the spring or summer 2025 term, and receive an application fee waiver just for attending. We look forward to seeing you online. On the 25th, from 2 p.m. to 3, CHC is turning 100. Join us as we kick off our celebration for the 100th anniversary with a special prayer service followed by reception. This event is free to attend and open to the entire CHC community. As a part of the kickoff, CHC will also unveil a special historic display celebrating 100 years. You can visit the display in the Hall of Philanthropy anytime following the prayer service, as well as throughout the entire year. We're back with McCaffrey Live. Once again, this initiative is designed for anyone who enjoys performing for an audience in a casual coffee house style setting. Dates do alternate on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 7 p.m. to 8.30. We are currently booking performances through October, but more dates will be added in the future as the semester progresses. We invite anyone to sign up who sings, plays instrumental music, performs stand-up comedy, spoken word poetry, or any talent you want to showcase live. If you're interested, please email student engagement. Lastly, on the 28th from 10 a.m. to 11.30, join CHC for our Saturday tours. Our Saturday campus tours allow students and families a chance to explore our beautiful campus and learn more about what CHC has to offer. Now we'll go to Jasmine Ramirez with our five-day forecast. Jasmine? Thanks guys, and I will say it is a little weird saying guys instead of back to you, Matt, but it is great to have you on board, T. Now it's time for our five-day forecast. Very bad news, but just like last week, the sun will not be making its outing this week. Monday, we have partly cloudy skies with a high of 72 and a low of 57, the lowest low all week. Tuesday, you can ignore this. I messed up. My apologies. I was hoping for a warmer day. But on Tuesday, we have a high of 72 and a low of 59. Wednesday, as our first rainy day in a couple of weeks, we see a high of 73 and a low of 61. Thursday and Friday, partly cloudy skies. Thursday, a high of 79 and a low of 64. And Friday, a high of 77 and a low of 62. Although the sun will not make its way out at all this week, we can at least say happy fall, everyone, and unfortunately, goodbye summer. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jasmine. Before we wrap up CHU News for the week, the Griffin Sprint football team came out with a huge win against Colby University, 28-6. Women's Volleyball also plays our rival Goldie Beacom on the 24th at 7 p.m. And then finally, the day after that on the 25th, Volleyball matches up at Kutztown at 7 p.m. in Surgency Arena. And that wraps up CHU News for the week. I'm T.I. O'Delican. And I'm Matt Velez with meteorologist Jasmine Ramirez. Thank you everyone for watching. Go, Go Griffins, Griffins and, and God, God bless. bless.